Well, greetings, my friends. Happy Monday. Thanks for stopping by. So I got a new sink. Actually, I got three new sinks. I got uh, these two here, and I've got another one that's uh, stuck back behind the air conditioning unit right there. It sits nicely right there, and it kind of angles back toward the back, and it holds paper towels and knickknacks, and it stays put when driving. So uh, these are much larger than my old ones, and uh, I got three for the price of two and the reason I needed multiple ones is because I hook my bungee through the first one because I like to leave this right here all the time and if I didn't bungee it it would slide off but when I'm driving it can slide to here and then it stops <laughs> so I keep it right here and when I need to get in the fridge I set it there and I can also set it up here if I need to get under the bed and stuff like that. But these are 18 quart like Rubbermaid tubs. And the last ones I had were 12 quart. They just were not big enough. So I guess 18 quarts is gonna be around 17 liters or is it 19 liters? I can never remember the, the conversion rate on that. But 18 quarts and uh, they're perfect. I mean, they're as large or larger as your typical bathroom sink. Almost as big as a kitchen sink in a, in a, in a small kitchen. Okay, so I've got them separated out here now. But yeah, see I drill a hole through here to hook my bungee. So this one is just a catch pan to put this in. Like that. And that way if I turn the corner, the bungee catches it when it gets to right there. All right, let's see what I got going on over here. Let's see, I've got white vinegar in this spray bottle, uh, liquid soap in this one, water, and mouthwash in this blue one here, and uh, shaving cream, deodorant. These cups, they're just empty cups. When I go through a coffee shop or something and get coffee, I keep the cups because I spit toothpaste in that when I'm brushing my teeth. Let's see, up here we've got scissors, Q-tips, more Q-tips, lots of Q-tips. I think I bought about 400 of them. And uh, plenty of that. Over there's my um, carbon monoxide detectors in that pouch. So yeah, I'm good and organized. This is my stilt that I put under the bed when I tip it up. Got my tablet charging up over here. It needed a good charge. This thing has face recognition. When it looks at your face, it'll come on. Let me see if I can get it to look at my face. You can see me in there. <laughs> Hello. There it goes. Yeah, when it sees your face, it comes on. Then you have to put in, put in your passcode to get into it. So it's lunchtime. As you can see, it's 12:13 on Monday. I'm at work having my lunch out here in the van. Nothing's going on today. We're under another flood watch. It poured rain all last night and this morning, and it's gonna be another dousing tonight. So it looks like the construction crew over here at work, they're about to pack it up and get out of here. So nothing else is gonna to happen today. But uh, I'm here because it's my job to be here. So let's see what else I haven't showed you in a while. Uh, I like Sprite Zero. <laughs> it's about the only carbonated soda I drink. Sprite Zero. Coke Zero sometimes. Not a big soda guy, but I do like Coke Zero and Sprite Zero. Oh, okay. I know what I can show you. So my rug, I actually have it taped onto um, the, the pad underneath. What do they call it? The fatigue, anti-fatigue pad underneath. So yeah, I ghettoed it up and put some Gorilla Tape around the edges so we quit sliding around. And uh, let's see, this is my little cubby hole where I keep my house boots. I wear these in the evening when it's cold. And under here, got my tennis shoes. So I can get about three pair of shoes up in here. And uh, my cleaning supplies are up in there too. So you just put them in kind of at an angle and tip them up. 
and push them all the way back and you can get a lot of stuff in there. See, that's coming great. And I have that little space here between the bed. I usually keep, you know, some shorts and sweatpants here. It's a good place to put stuff. Hoodies, t towels, all kind of stuff right here in between the bed and that cabinet. And I left a little ledge here on the edge of this cabinet because I didn't want this flush because when the heater is mounted here, I wanted it set back a little bit just so the heat wouldn't get right against that. And also when you come in the door, you want a place to put your hand, you know, to push up on and um, you can, it's enough to set a cup here or something if you needed to set something down real quick. So everything's, uh, all the tinkering I've been doing lately has, uh, has done well. I've got the cabinets reattached to the wall again, just like they were before. Much sturdier now that uh, I, can, I can actually put my weight on this and push up without worrying about spreading out the uh, attachment bracket that's, you know, these cabinets sit on top of each other you know and it it's like the peg goes up into an opening and over time that opening would would spread out and flatten down so with the screws through it that's the last video so if you want to see that look at the one video behind this one and uh yeah i can push up on this with all my weight now because when you're down here in the floor crawling around <laughs> you need stuff to push up on i push up on the corner of this thing I push up on the corner of the fridge and this all the time. So it's much better now. All right, so before we go, guess what I did all weekend? What I said I wouldn't be doing again for a while? I house sat over at the crazy cul-de-sac. Yeah, for the weekend, they texted me on Friday uh, right after lunch and said, hey, we decided to go out of town for the weekend. Do you want the house? Like, sure, I'll take it. So uh, I stayed at their house all weekend, did absolutely nothing except sit and watch movies and play guitar and stuff like that. So uh, you never know when a house sitting gig will pop up. And uh, let's see. Oh, I moved my magnets around on the ceiling. See those white buttons? See how the, uh, the ceiling, that's reflectix behind white vinyl tape is what that is. And see how it's starting to crease right here? It's, uh, when it gets hot, the stuff bows down a little bit because it holds back the heat from the roof. So it's starting to crease a little bit right there. So I had to rearrange my magnets to accommodate that creasing. Oh, and these are my privacy panels for the driver and passenger door and the window right here. All right, guys, that's enough for a, ha for a happy Monday. Take care, be well, smash the bell.